Hey everybody, Sports Live and ATL here, Atlanta Sports with Slitta. This video right here is going to be about <laughs> a rumor, legit rumor, from Bleacher Report about the Lakers being interested in Trey Young, heavily pursuing Trey Young. Subscribe to the channel, everybody. Click the notification bell so you know when the content uploads. Click the like button. Share it to all your outlets. Support the channel in every way a channel can be supported. And if you got a question, hit me up on Twitter, at ATL39. My next game stream will be tomorrow night. And most likely, there's a good chance that where you hiding will be uh, in the stream yard with me, doing a dual stream for the game one of the Phillies and the Braves. Okay, so that, that'll be fun. It's always fun uh, but, uh, when he and I interact and, and our teams play. Uh, wow. Yesterday I saw this rumor on Bleacher Report, Mark something, and then it got on Twitter and all that. It is confirmed that the Lakers are going to pursue Atlanta Hawks' Trey Young. Now, what would this do to this city and state if the Hawks traded Trey Young? I think a lot of the people would be, would be in anarchy. They'd, they'd be jumping off bridges. Uh, they'd be burning their jerseys and all this stupid stuff. Well, not literally, of course. That's just a figure of speech. But, you know, it's kind of like when Michael Vick left here or or Deion Sanders left here, you know, yeah, they were like all anarchy. Didn't care about Matt Ryan when he left. Uh, but, yeah, Julio Jones left. It was anarchy. We all know why. I'm not blind, okay? I have a brain. I personally, if it made our team an NBA championship caliber type team, bye, Trey Young. Because let's be real, folks. Trey Young has not elevated these players. He hasn't. Trey Young has not elevated uh, these players. Trey Young teased us uh, in 2021. Or was it 2020? Whatever the hell it was. We went to the Eastern Conference Finals. Trey Young, I've said this a thousand times, maybe even coming to a million. Trey Young is a really good player, but he is not a superstar. Superstars get your teams over the hump. Jason Tatum, you know. The Nuggets, you know, you got that guy that went off for 30-something points in the first half, Jokic, Steph Curry, you know, teams that, uh, Jimmy Butler, teams that elevate your players to get you to the brink of winning an NBA championship. And we were on the brink that year. But what have we done since then? We have regressed like crazy. Trey Young, first of all, he can't elevate these other players that we got to step up and make plays consistently, but neither can he. The last couple of years, and Trey Young has had, and he's, I mean, I don't even need to talk about these two, these uh, regular seasons since the Eastern Conference Finals run. Very disappointing, low seed, you know, seven and eight, play in tournament twice, you know, eliminated by Miami, eliminated by Boston. You know, Trey Young decided to show up the last couple games. Kudos to him. John Collins showed up one game in Game Six. DeAndre Hunter one game, I think, in Game Six. I mean, where is this all the way through? Teams win NBA championships when their players play from game from the regular season to the playoffs to game one to the end. The Hawks play in spurts. They don't play defense. Obviously, there's going to be changes. Obviously, it's already in the works. But if we're going to trade Trey Young, we need at least four, five, six, seven good, really good players. I mean, I don't think Trey Young is worth. Well, I take that back. I don't think. I know Trey Young is not worth two hundred something million dollars. Not. He's not worth it. The team has regressed since he's been here. All he does is have receding hairlines, flashy, fiery-looking hair, almost half bald, can take shots from half court, can assist like crazy, but cannot win games in the clutch. Cannot take over games. He has won every now and then. Spare me with the Boston game. Spare me with the Bulls game in the regular season. He does it every now and then. But Steph Curry does it all the time. Jimmy Butler seems to be doing it all the time right now. Teams that win titles step up all the time. So if Trey Young gets traded, Atlanta is going to go into a is going to go into shutdown mode. Not me. As long as we get really good players for him, Trey Young it was nice having you. See you when I see you. I want to win a ring. The only player that I've really adapted to is Matt Ryan. And Matt Ryan did more than Trey Young has. Matt Ryan took the Falcons to the brink of a Super Bowl championship and should have been a champion. Trey Young, nah, not so much. 
when Matt, Matt Ryan made all these players better on our team, made plays, unfortunately our coaches screwed it up in, in the Super Bowl. Trey Young, these players don't play for him. The, Trey, the players play better when Trey Young is not even on the court. Have you noticed that? The Hawks really should build around Deshante Murray, Bogdanovich, you know, uh, Jalen Johnson, these youngsters making plays who are fiery and hungry. Trey Young is not hungry. He's greedy and he's arrogant. Go win somewhere else. You can keep Trey Young and add the right pieces. Great. But if he gets traded, bye. I don't want to hear this Trey Young for LeBron James crap. Because the Lakers are looking for Trey Young to compliment LeBron James. I don't think the trade will happen, but I, who the hell knows? Anything could happen. It wouldn't surprise me. But it is a, a legit rumor out there. But could you imagine if Trey Young got traded? Atlanta would just blow up. It, it would be so much... So many comments out there, but yet Atlanta didn't support Matt Ryan when he left, and he did more than Trey Young. Facts. So I just wanted to pop on here and say that and give my opinion. We'll see what happens. I'd be happy if he stayed, if we could build around him. But if we get really, really good players and he good for him, see, I'd be happy about that. Jalen Brown, obviously rumored to come here to Bo from Boston. We'll see how that works out. You know, if, if you can get Jalen Brown, you clearly probably do not want to trade Trey Young. You have Jalen Brown, Trey Young, and Deshante Murray and Bogdanovich. That's pretty formidable. Just got to get a damn big man who can actually crash the damn boards. And got to get a forward who can actually body to body and, and, and make plays. Worst contract I ever saw uh, for the Hawks right now is that stupid contract for John Collins. What a, what a freaking embarrassment. But that's another story for another time. So anyways, guys, subscribe. You know all that good stuff. I'll see you tomorrow night for the Phillies Braves. Braves, can you win one against the Dodgers? Can you do me that solid, please? And I'll see you in the next one. Woo! Prayers for BBD. Woo!